Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Cancers for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Cancers, please. All right, we've got the Empress in reverse, Taurus and Libra in energy, the Queen of Wands. We've got the Hermit. We've got the Lovers. Wow. Okay. And we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. And we have the Fool. All right, Cancers. So I am seeing here we have lots of major arcanas coming out. One, two, three, four. Four out of the six cards. Um, it does look like you have been involved in some sort of third party situation. Now, it is also possible here that you're dealing with somebody with this Queen of Wands in reverse who kind of wants to be single or is a bit of a playboy or a playgirl. Um, someone here who may have you in a third party situation or is dating other people. I do feel this person is restless to see you, but I'm also a little bit worried that there's potential for heartbreak here, Cancer. Um, the Fool card is about taking a leap of faith and starting something new. Um, and I can see that you're contemplating like what to do here, what to do about this connection. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing too, we may have an instance where there's somebody that you've been loosely dealing with. Maybe it's a friends with benefits situation, somebody you've been dating um, casually, or somebody that you've wanted to move forward with but haven't been able to because of a third party. Some of you, you might not know why, and it really could be because there's a third party here. It takes all, like all of my third party cards are coming through. Yeah, it looks like you may be in separation from this person, like you're in hermit mode, maybe you've left them behind. Um, it kind of looks like there's a connection here that couldn't really come together because of this third party. And truthfully, third parties don't have to be romantic rivals, Cancer, but it, you know, it can be work, it can be other obligations, responsibilities, hobbies, friends, family, anything. But it looks like you have a connection here that has been blocked, that wasn't able to come together but you have your 10 of cups coming in. Now, for some of you, it's blocked because this person's married or in a long-term commitment. But what I'm seeing here is you've been healing. You've been moving on. And this may be confirmation with this queen of wands in reverse that the person that you're healing from or moving on from, you know, was, was you know, had you in a third party and that's why it couldn't move forward. Um, strength card. So in this deck, it shows up as number 11. Libra and energy and the three of cups. Yeah. A lot of you, this person's married. That's just, I mean, I'm, you know, I know a lot of you aren't going to like those messages. Um, and some of you would like the messages to be different, but I can't change the messages that come through. And here I'm seeing you were dealing with somebody who had you in a third party or was married, maybe married to their job. But for a lot of you, it's straight up another person. And I feel like you're healing from this. I feel with the hermit card, Virgo energy, you know, you're doing a lot of analysis, you're doing a lot of introspection, um, you know, you're just, you're doing what you're supposed to do and you've pulled back your energy. Yeah. Three of wands. This person knows and sees and senses, obviously the distance between you and them. But again, this person knows that they weren't prioritizing you or the connection and they're seeing temperance energy in reverse. And they know that, you know, they know that you're healing from this or that you've moved away from them so that you could heal and start something new. And that's what we're going to focus on here, because I do see what you're not seeing is the lover's card, Gemini energy. So you could have an Aries or a Gemini coming towards you, maybe a Virgo, maybe a, a, a Sag. But with the lover's card here, you have you have a soulmate on your path, someone that might be around you, someone you're not seeing the eight of wands in reverse. Okay. And we get the magician energy in reverse. It's somebody who hasn't taken action yet towards you or is not communicating with you. You may have to read between the lines of communication with this person, but I think they're sussing you out. I think this person is feeling you out. I'm getting really strong secret admirer vibes here. 
I do feel like it's somebody new, but it feels like they're already around you. Now, maybe you're just chatting with them online if you're doing apps and things like that. For others of you, it could be a coworker, it could be like, you know, a friend or somebody who's in your community. Yeah, so it's like you're ready to move on. That's your advice, moving on from this past situation. And with the two of swords in reverse, you have something new, something fresh, something in alignment, something truthful and honest coming your way. And we have the nine of pentacles energy in reverse. And for a lot of you, it's going to be someone that you see in the community or a place you go back to work, school, the gym, the gas station, the grocery store, the dog park, your favorite bar, club, restaurant. This is a six of cups situation. It's somebody who's really crushing on you. It's a soulmate that's been absolutely put on your path. And I feel with this, with this Aries energy, the fool card, my cancers, you're really being asked to take a leap of faith in this brand new direction here with this person. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my cancers, please. It feels like, an, you know, this feels like an energy of karmic justice. Um, we see duality, many meanings, misunderstanding. Yeah, but I also feel too that, you know, you were in a situation that was, that was confusing where somebody wasn't showing you their true self, you know, where there was this duality. They were one way with you, but they were another way with other people. And I feel like that's what you're healing from. Um, and we also see clarity, but you have strength, you have clarity. There's been some big change, but there's also transformation here for you cancers. And I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to take a look at who this new energy is coming your way. Um, because I feel like, you know, my cancers, you've been through a lot and I feel like you are very actively and have actively put the past to rest. Okay. Or you're in the process of doing that. Um, so let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance, clear messages, advice, and guidance. Who's this new person? All right. So we see they could be a Gemini, beautiful confirmation of what's hidden, what you're not seeing. So you could have a Gemini or somebody with this strong energy, this strong mercurial energy, who's the thinker and this, a communicator of the Zodiac coming your way. Again, they're probably, they're, they're Gemini's flirt in like a chatty way. They're going to make jokes, maybe tease you. This is somebody who's going to make you laugh cancer. All right. And they could be a Scorpio. Okay. So they're protective and they're loyal. It's also a very sexy energy. Those of you who have Scorpio in your chart, or those of you who have dealt with Scorpios, you know, that definitely in the bedroom, it's not a bad, <laughs> it's not a bad thing. And this is somebody who's got a healthy lifestyle. So they live cleanly. They infuse exercise and healthy choices into their daily routine. Some of you, you meet them doing something quite healthy here. Um, you meet them doing something, you know, like I said, gym, maybe yoga, maybe, you know, um, yeah, just doing some like maybe outdoor activities or things like that, or you just bond over that. Um, but I also feel too, it's just going to be emotionally a very healthy connection for you. And again, it feels like karmic justice. It feels feels really good cancer. And this person may have a severe allergy. Um, they may, oh, this person, the color yellow is going to be important to them. So strong solar plexus energy, strong, healthy, balanced, masculine energy is what I'm getting. I also feel this person might wear like their favorite color could be yellow. They might also be wearing like a pop of yellow, either in their makeup or their clothing, um, their shoes. Okay. Like, or, you know, they just might be wearing yellow. They might also wear gold jewelry is what I'm getting. They could come from a larger family, have a couple of siblings, maybe three, and they do wear a meaningful accessory. So I do feel like this person is going to wear some type of jewelry. Now I'm seeing like a woven necklace, like maybe like an artisanal necklace, maybe with a crystal. But again, that's definitely not going to be for all of you, but they definitely, it does feel like this person does wear jewelry of some sort. Again, it could be gold or it could be what I just described. Okay, let's see. Mm, cancers, how else will you know who this new emperor energy is for you? I said emperor. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but um, maybe because I'm seeing the empress, it feels like, you know, this is like twin flame, divine counterpart type stuff. We have genuine and sincere. They're going to be, yeah, they're going to be laid back, relaxed, easygoing. They're going to be really funny. That's what I'm getting. Like you two are going to laugh a lot together. And they're also bold and confident. They're going to make the first move. They're going to ask for your number or some of you, they're going to reach out to you. You know, if it's, if you're, if you're online, I am getting that if you're doing online dating and let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance. 
clear messages, advice and guidance, please. All right, so we see guided steps to great love. So follow the path of ascension. Keep doing what you're doing. I see a lot of you, you're in hermit mode, which means you're doing a lot of healing. You're doing introspection. Um, you know, you're just doing you, Cancer, and that's what you need to do at the moment. This is a gift from the universe coming your way. And yeah, this is going to be a dream come true. Have faith. Your rainbow will come smiling through. And we do see twin twin flame union. So confirmation there at the bottom of the deck. Cancers, what beautiful, powerful messages. It feels like karmic justice. You so deserve to be happy. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Um, my guides are also saying the number 66 is going to be important to this connection. So maybe somebody's wearing like a root 66 shirt or somebody's born in 66 or you're going to be seeing those numbers just pay attention to that all right i'm going to leave it there cancers um if you're interested in a private reading check out the description box down below where i also have the cards that i'm using listed and linked um and yeah and also my tiktok and instagram is down below as well take care